Hello. Huh, huh. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, everybody. This is Third Mario Brother. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario in the last part. We got up here to Bowser's Castle by using the Starship, and in this part, we are going to be continuing through the dungeon. Anyway, right here, you're going to want to take out Paracarry and have him carry you all over all these gaps. You can probably jump across a few of these, but I'm not going to risk it because I don't want to have to start all over. That'd be so... That'd be apocalyptic, guys. Anyway... You know, the way I started that part, it reminds me of something from my youth. Back in the old day. Okay, whatever. Um, uh, but... It was from a game called Hoyle Table Games, which I played a lot before I had the internet. Um, it's a game where you just play, like, Yahtzee and stuff. It comes pre-installed with all those games. Anyway, in the Avatar Creator, you can choose your Avatar's voice, and your Avatar's is, like, five things during the entire game, so it doesn't really matter, but... Um, under the female voices, there was one that sounded like that. It was like, hello, ho, ho, hello, is anybody there, hello? And it was supposed to be a female voice, but it actually sounded pretty darn masculine, if I do say so myself. Anyway, let's see what's in here. A waterfall of lava. Ah, and that'd actually make it a lava fall, not a waterfall. Anyway, go up the epic staircase of death. I'm gonna switch to Paracarry and show something off here. Um, let's see. Uh-oh. ma 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 Mama, 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 Mario is right there. What are we supposed to do in this situation? I make that reference too much. Kimmy Koopa told us something, but I'm drawing a total blank. I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Oh, oh no. Do you think that means we have to fight him? No, he'll wipe the floor with us. Stop your belly aching. They sure use that word a lot in this game, belly aching. Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad. Whatever happens, we can't push let him push the switch. Do you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on, take this plumber. Show him what you're made of. Uh, we have no choice. Gotta be brave. Gotta be attack. And we have a mini boss fight. I'm only gonna show this for two reasons. Because A, I can't run. And B, I'm gonna show off one of my partner's abilities, but not before I star storm all of them. PK star. Okay, I need to. I seriously need to stop playing, making that reference. I haven't played too much Earthbound. Played a little bit of it, though. And I gotta say, it's one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Like, seriously. I haven't played any Mother or Mother 3, but from what I've seen, they're pretty great, too. Anyway, right there was his new Paracarry's newest ability and his last ability, Air Raid, tilt to the left repeatedly, and it's one power less than, um, freaking Shell Shot, but, but it hits all enemies, so yeah. Anyway, go ahead and hit the switch. And this part makes sense, but this next part doesn't. Alright, let's see. What do you have to say, Lucky Mister? Oh, red! The lava totally cooled off and hardened. We can walk across it now, right, man? Yeah, way to use the old brain. That's why you're the man. Every day, man, I learn something new from you. Um, thank you. But this doesn't make any sense at all. In just a few seconds, all this lava cooled off and hardened. Lava's like thousands of degrees. It would take so long to cool off from just the air. Anyway, whatever. Why do I question Mario logic? It doesn't make sense no matter what. Anyway, we can get a Thunder Rage and a Mystery. A mystery basically chooses one random item and uses it. But I'm not going to get either of those because I'm full up on really good healing items and Thunder Rage and Mystery aren't that great in the first place. But anyway, now we can go back into this room and open this treasure chest of ultimate death and get the castle key cool now now we have to go take it back to that door that I just saw a few minutes ago but there's not a, there's a little bit of backtracking in this chapter but it's not really backtracking because every time you backtrack in this chapter like you get to do things in a new way something changes like here the lava is cool and you can walk across and get all those different items and everything so basically it's not like backtracking in this chapter it's more like solving puzzles and doing stuff. Whatever. Anyway, go in here and it's dark. Yeah! Let's pull out Watt the awesome partner. And we get to walk across here in a cave. So apparently the walls will reek in Bowser's castle and that means it like completely caved in. And we Come on. Okay, there. Now we have a new enemy. This is the bony beetle and when you jump on it, it flips over. It's basically a Koopa. Except when you attack it, if it doesn't get flipped over, like if you use Watt's attack on it, its spikes will come out. Here, I'll show it right here. 
and when its spikes come out, its attack power goes up by 2, I think, plus its attacks are a bit harder to dodge, even though that's the timing on it right there. The other attack is the same timing as any Koopa's attack, so I don't really need to show that. Anyway, their power goes up when their spikes come out, so... And you can attack them again if they don't flip. Like, you can attack them again when their spikes are out to make their spikes go back in. So sometimes if their spikes are out, it's better to just do nothing. Or er, spikes... Okay. Sometimes when their spikes are retracted, it's better to do nothing rather than have them um, get their spikes out so that you can't jump on them and they do higher damage. Anyway, up here, it looks like we have an item, and it doesn't look like that, I just know it. And we get a pal block, and you can use that to flip all the bony beetles over at once, but I really don't care because I have spike shield and I'm awesome like that. Anyway, pull up Paracarry. It's kind of annoying how many times you have to switch partners in this little area. It's not that bad, but still. I'd rather just jump across that pit with what? With what? 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 Anyway, continuing along this dank, dusty, musty, crusty cave. Oh god, a bunch of Koopa Patrol. Now, up that upper path is a item block. It has a shooting star in it, but I don't want that shooting star because I really don't use attacking items that much. I just use Star Storm, or overuse Star Storm at that. Anyway, so yeah, I don't, I'm not going to go through the trouble of fighting all this Koopa Troll for it. Anyway, down this route, we have a dead end. Not good. Not good at all. Let's see what we have down the bottom path. Because I think up is the way you're supposed to go. And another dead end. Beautiful. Now, obviously, since we have Watt, if there are any hidden blocks, we're going to see them, but I don't think there are in here, so... Don't worry, guys. Anyway, on this part, rather than jump across, you're actually supposed to... Okay, I'm not going to even try to get what's up there. Actually, it might be a badge. If it's not, I'll cut this. Okay, turns out that was just a time waster. What you're supposed to do is jump into that pit, and why did I... Oh, God. Anyway, you're supposed to jump into that pit, and, um, yeah, jump into that pit. God, why can't I talk? Jump into that pit, and there's a spring in case you want to get back up, but the pit is the way to go. Kid Icarus is the way to go. But, um, by the way, if you don't have Watt out for battles, it'll be completely dark, and you can't attack anything like it was with the Lantern Ghost, so. Oh, great, they can charge up. Oh, great, he's electrified, and I don't have Zap Tap. Oh, great. Oh, and I forgot these guys can call in partners to help them. Wonderful. Ugh, I think I'm gonna need some rehabilitation after that battle. That was such a long fight. They just kept calling in partners, and I couldn't t attack two of them, and they just kept calling in partners. <laughs> it was so horrible. Anyway, here we have a block, and if we push this block, it reveals a doorway, which is kind of cool. Can't push any of the other blocks in this room anyway. You came back. You escaped from that underground jail. There was no way you could escape. Of all the dirty tricks, I guess I have to keep my word. You can go through. I don't think I'll forget this. Now we can open this door, and we come to a big hall, and we will explore everything in this big hall in the next part. Sorry if this part's a little short, I just don't know where the hell we are in this time limit because of that freaking battle. Anyway, I'll see you next time on Paper Mario, where we explore more Bowser's Castle.